This video tutorial is a part of the Atom Internet Marketing Training class and this one's going to be on how to make videos. I want you to pay attention to up here. What I'm doing is using these lessons and I'm making a bunch of shorter videos and I'm going to take this description and when I upload the videos I use the description to get people to the website that I'm promoting which is this one this is my content site and from my content site I'm getting it ranked high on Google for how to get a website on Google and what it's going to do is make sales for me it's going to send people to this site and when this is finished it's going to go up from 27 to a minimum of 47 maybe even 97 dollars because I've paid a few hundred for it myself so I should be able to sell it for 97 right and so can you that's what you can do you can duplicate what I'm doing and make money from not only this but from one of the other 75 or 80 products we have in our back office anyway enough rambling I just want you to understand where I'm going with this so now that we've made the Animoto video I want to show you how easy it is to edit it to use it for another video so let's log back into the Animoto account and when you're inside here just click on my videos from here we can click on edit the video that we just made 41 minutes ago click here edit edit a copy if you recall that video was 40 seconds long and I do have an upgraded account for $30 a year so I can have these videos pretty much as long as I want to we do want to make an impact on people enough of an impact to get them to our website right so the purpose of these videos is twofold make an impact get people to the website and the other reason would be to get the backlinks from YouTube Facebook and such to your website for SEO purposes so how do I make this longer? How do I edit this copy? If you recall, I've got slide one, slide two, slide three uploaded. I'm going to go through that whole process again. And I'm also going to remake this. So I'm going to add text and type in get your own website and PDIMI the Sakura project. Let's save this. Now what I can do is left click on that and drag it right up here and put it first so the first slide that people are going to see is this now I'm going to add pictures and videos upload pictures and video I'm going to go number one all the way through to number 12 again So we have the text we just added. We have slide one, slide one. Let's add another. Number two. Now we need to put it where it goes, which is up at the top, if I can get it there. So we have opening text, slide one, slide one, slide two, and we need slide two right here again. So now we need three and three and four and four and so on. So let's upload slide three. Oh, someone just came on the website, that's good. And I'm going to pause the video and finish this up again. And what I want you to do is just duplicate what I do and check and make sure that you have number one and then number one and then number two and then number two. And if you mess over it, it'll tell you what slide it is. Slide three, slide three, slide four. So we need slide four here. And I'll be right back. Okay, that's all done. All I did is just double up the slide. So slide one and one and two and two and so on all the way down. Now all I need to do is go to preview video again and I already have the title from before in it 
in the link so I can skip and produce it and maybe what I'll do is pause here again until this loads okay that's done now all I'm going to do is share it post to my wall not to my friends wall sorry optional message there we are post to wall don't want to post this stuff to your friends walls successfully posted to my wall okay now let's close this up here all right now let's tweet it and we don't want it to say watch my video on animal animoto called copy of how to get a website on google let's just go like this right here new impact video on Adam course for let's just go with the original words how to get a website on Google that makes more sense to me you want something in Twitter that people are going to actually read right and let's tweet it and that's done okay that's the end of this video and I've got one more thing to do to use these slides before we move on to the next method of making impact videos. See you in a minute. Okay, you'll notice now there's an extra video up here. And before we get rid of these, before I get rid of these slides, I've got one more use for them. So, let's open up a blank PowerPoint. And this is how I altered them. I actually used MS Paint, Microsoft Paint, and I like the text that you can get inside of PowerPoint better than you can inside of the MS Paint. Now if you can't afford PowerPoint, if you don't have PowerPoint, because I know it's expensive, you can get the same thing at openoffice.org and it's a free download there. I don't know that program well, but Jesse does. Anyway, let's get rid of this. and this and this and it looks to me like we need about 12 slides so I just right click and duplicate slide until there's 12 of them Okay, 12 slides established. Let's close this down for a sec. Let's right click and copy. Number one. Let's take it back to the PowerPoint and go to slide number one and let's paste it here. Now let's grab this with the left click and pull it down and make it the same size as the actual slide is. Close to it. Don't need to make them perfect, I suppose. Okay, let's go right click, copy slide number two, and bring it in and paste it in slide number two in here, and do the same thing. And what I'm going to do now is finish up, and I'll be back. Okay, I just took all the same slides and I resize them, and I put them in PowerPoint like this. And now what I'll do after I'm finished with this video that you're watching is go and resize Camtasia so that it just fits right around here like this. And I will probably voice over it. And I'll probably do the same with another video. Only instead of having voice over, what I'll do is just put some of the music on it that's in your back office of the Sakura Project website. Remember there is lots of good stuff in there. Please use it. That's what it's there for. The first video that I make, I'm going to use some slides that I made up here, and I'm going to use a program called Animoto, which is right here. And I'll show you these slides. I just made them with a free program called Microsoft Paint. And the size is just 667 by 500. And I just made up a series of 12 of them. And I just save them as number one two three four and so on and save them on my desktop so let's go log into Animoto 
and after we're signed into our account and I'll leave a link below this video that you can sign up for free. If you sign up for free you can create up to 30 second videos and that's lots long enough for uh, the purposes that we're needing them for. On inside click on create video. We need to choose a style and I'm not going to take a whole lot of time picking out styles. This clouds looks pretty nice. I like the light colored background so let's choose this. Wonderland of Snow. It is Christmas coming, right? And let's click on create video. After we're in here, we can add pictures and video. And click on upload pictures and video. And we load these in one at a time. and just keep going through them until you have all of them uploaded and I'm going to pause the video now until I get the 12 slides loaded in Okay, I have the 12 slides loaded in. Now I want to add music, or change music, add music. Depends on which stage you're at in this. Go to the full music library. And you can listen to the music here. And, and as an upgraded member, you can choose from a thousand different songs so what I'm going to do is pause the video again and find something that's suitable for this campaign that I'm working on. This one here will work and you will hear it when it's over. The campaign I'm working on right now is how to get a website on Google. It's an SEO campaign so I just add song and I want to add text to the end of it because you should always have a call to action at the end of every post at the end of every article, at the end of every video, there must be a strong call to action. So, let's add some text. And uh, this limits your character, so I'm not sure if I can type in all of this or not. No, nope, it doesn't. So, all right. There you are, your website on Google works. And for text, I'm going to type in. So what I'll do is have your website on Google for the header and for the text, Sakura PDIMI training and save. Now from here, we can preview the video which is our next step is to click it or we can skip and produce it but what I'm going to do is pause the video and pick out another title and a description right here for the title here how to get a website on Google and for the description you type it in exactly the same way that I teach everyone in the trainings okay and you produce it and I'll wait while this is producing okay that's a short video it only took less than a minute and what we can do from here is actually share it and pin it if you have a Pinterest account and tweet it and the description that I just put in is going to give me a link right back to my website so and I want to do this because this website here has a page rank of 7 and has an Alexa of under 4000 so that's good but what I'll do before I do that is I will play it for you so that I don't have to add it to the video later. So let's full screen it and I'll play you the video that we just made.
And there you go. There is a very professional short, short video. It's 40 seconds long, but still. It can be re-edited with Camtasia, which is what I'm going to do. Or it can be re-edited with the software that we have in the Sakura Project back office.